Well, the east of Australia has received some much-needed rain and too much in many places over recent days. Let's catch up with the New South Wales Water Minister, Melinda Pavey, up at Maxville. Uh, thanks for joining us, Melinda. Uh, first up, the floods. Where have they got too much water? Uh, how dire is the situation? And are uh, we seeing any subsidence now? Look, I think when it's big, heavy rains on the coast, it manages itself. It finds its way down to the river and out. We saw some some pretty um, crazy photos and pictures around the south coast. I know Brogo Dam, it's overfilling um, on the south coast down near Bega. Uh, you know, they've had everything, uh, fire, nah, COVID and, and now some, some floods. But nothing um, that uh, is as serious as it could have been. We've got Wyangla, sorry, we've got Warragamba Dam, you know, our, our most magnificent dam, the beauty of a dam. She's up to 95.8% today. You'd want and to rename... a white-knuckle um, ride. It was to, February. Any it was 40%. Sorry, no, any truth in the room? Are you going to rename the Warragamba Dam the Tim Flannery Memorial Dam? <laughs> If someone wants to write to me, I'll consider it and formally respond. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> That's a great idea, though. <laughs> tell us about uh, the, the drought-affected landscape. We looked at the map just a couple of weeks ago and the vast areas of New South Wales were still drought-affected. That map has now changed because the rains have been so widespread. It must be so pleasing as we look here, those green-shaded areas on the map we're showing uh, where areas are, are now not uh, uh, drought-affected, which is great news. Yeah, I mean, driving through some of the countryside, seeing the glistening dams full um, on farm dams, that's exciting. But I do just call, well, a word of caution, Chris. You know, some of our big water storages that are only at about 50% Hume Dam, which services the Murray, uh, we'll be lucky to get some general security allocations down that way. And that's that's three years running. That's tough. It's particularly tough on, on the rice sector, Sunrise, uh, one of the world's most uh, significant rice companies. Uh, you know, I'm actually concerned we'll be importing rice uh, for Christmas because we won't have enough production here in Australia. And just remember, for those that don't think we should grow rice, you only put rice in if you've got a, a water allocation, not like almonds and, and other such things. So it is a good crop and we've actually developed technology to reduce the amount of water we use on it. We should be proud of Australian rice. Just on that, you mentioned storage, of course. During the drought, we all talk about the need for more dams and then we have this abundance that might last years. We won't drop the ball this time, surely. We need to plough on no matter how much water is around and build more water storage. Absolutely. So we've got on the cards an agreement with the federal government. We're starting our plans in Wyangla Dam, doubling its size and uh, and capacity. And the good news for Wyangla, we were down to uh, around 13% um, a couple of weeks ago. It's now up to 35% at Wyangla Dam. Uh, Chaffee Dam still a trouble for us um, in Tamworth. We need to, to get those levels up. So in the northwest of New South Wales, we've had some good rains and we had our first ever embargo on floodplain harvesting earlier in the year, but we need some big rains just on the, the western side of the Great Divide where our big catchments are. That will prove uh, a lot of relief. But, you know, the Bureau of Meteorology have proved to be right this year um, and we're still expecting some more rain uh, coming along. And, you know, it won't be, it won't be soon enough. Uh, we're in a much better position than what we were in February. But there are still some hazards. And have, have a thought for those farmers that don't have their general security allocations because our dams aren't full enough yet on the western side. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for joining us, Melinda. A look on that Warragamba Dam. I do love the real name. We don't really want to change it but perhaps we'll just call it the Tim Flannery Memorial Spillway. That will do the job. OK. <laughs> I'll take that on board and on notice, Chris Kenny. Thanks very much. Melinda Pavey there, the Water Minister in New South Wales.